Well, good morning and welcome to Tuesday's Thought for the Day. I hope you are well. Now, in these wee thoughts on Tuesday, we're thinking about Lent. And as a church and as a community, we decided that we weren't going to give up something for Lent. Instead, we were going to take up. So we're doing the Take Up, Don't Give Up Lent 2021 challenge. Um, we're not giving up things, but we're taking up things that we know are good for ourselves and good for our relationship and our walk with God. Things that really nurture our relationship and our faith in Jesus. So I hope you've been following um, some of the ideas that have been on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page. And today um, is a, a lovely challenge. Um, one thing that a lot of us have been able to do even in lockdown is to go for walks. And um, as a minister, I was uh, told that I'm not allowed to go into homes to do pastoral visits at the moment. But what I can do is take people out one to one. And um, that has been a real gift and a real blessing just to walk with somebody and to share some space and some time with them and to pray with them as well. So I've called this Worship While You Walk. Um, it's blessed me and I hope it's blessed other people that have joined me on the walk as well. So something that we can all do if we're physically able is to go a walk. In Dundonald, we are blessed with open countryside. We have all the lovely woodland walks right on our doorstep and country walks through farms. Uh, there's, there's a huge number of wonderful walks. So I would encourage you to get out and have a walk if you can. But also as you walk, maybe to stop for a minute and just to say a prayer. Now, those that know me will know that I am not a person of big fancy prayers. I've never been gifted with the, the fluency of being able to pray um, in a coherent way, uh, which I saw as a hindrance at first being a minister, but then I realised actually God doesn't care. Get, God just wants us to pray from a sincere and open heart. So stop in your walk and have a prayer. It could be a prayer of thanksgiving from what you've just seen on your walk. It could be a prayer of thanksgiving from the thoughts that uh, came to your mind as you walked. Or maybe uh, a prayer for people that you know are struggling or are in need of support. I saw something wonderful on my Facebook feed a couple of weeks ago where a friend of mine who um, is really missing the coast, being able to see the seaside and lives nowhere near the coast and can't travel the distance to come a walk on the beach, had um, been taken on a virtual walk with one of our friends who lived near the coast. So that's something we can do for other people, people that maybe can't get out physically themselves for one reason or another. Maybe they're shielding or maybe they're physically not able to walk. Um, if they have the technology, why don't you take them on a walk with you? Um, stop and show them the sights, stop and show them um, all the beautiful things that you have seen on your walk and share that walk with that other person, even if they're not right beside you. So the challenge today is to take up walking, but walking with intention on seeing something and uh, I'm praising and thanking God for the day. Just want to share with you also um, what's come to my mind in this whole year of COVID and lockdown. It has forced so many of us to be in the open countryside more. And I always remember conversations I've had with Christians who really struggle to come to church on a Sunday morning. Maybe Sunday is the only day off they have at the weekend. And I had a lot of um, really good, strong Christian friends that would rather be on their bikes or in the open countryside or walking than sitting down uh, for a couple of hours in church. So um, what I would like to start um, once the restrictions are lifted is um, forest worship. So it's going to be a bit like um, worship as you walk, but this will be worship within a group. We'll go a walk, maybe go a walk through the forest, but we'll stop at different stations throughout and we'll stop and we'll pray, we'll stop and we'll sing. And then when we reach our destination, we'll have a little bit of reflection on God's word. So really it is church outside, church, forest church. Um, I think it's really important that this time of lockdown and COVID has really stretched us to see what is church. And church is more than just sitting in a pew on a Sunday morning. 
Church is being in communion with other Christians, strengthening each other's faith and walk with Jesus so that we can be a better witness to other people round about us, so that we're filled with God's goodness and God's care and God's love and God's grace so that we can make a difference to the life, our lives around us and the earth that we live in. So uh, forest worship uh, will be a, a, a time of worship for people that just enjoy being in the outdoors uh, but still want to worship God. But the challenge today is to take a walk, take a stroll and to pray. And I hope that God blesses you in the time that you share together. Do let me know about the walks you have gone on. Um, I love to hear from you. So um, why not use the Facebook feed chat to let me know where you went and what you discovered. And um, if you want to share your prayers, that's even a greater blessing for us. But stay well, stay blessed, and I will see you all very soon. Bye for now.